The butterfly carving kit works really well for beginners, intermediate carvers and advanced carvers because it gives you lots of options as to how far you take it. So you could just cut out the actual shape and that's a very pretty little design for a beginner. For an intermediate carver you might want to start shaping the wings. So say for example lifting the body above the wings or shaping the wings down. And for the advanced carvers you may want to start adding some details to the wings. For ideas on details to add to the wings, just do a bit of picture research online and yeah, you can go as wild as you want with that. But to start with, you're going to just want to do the general cutout of the shape. So starting with the two dimensional shape. As with other carving kits, when you've got a wide opening at the top, your best bet is to start off up there in order to prevent the wings from snapping off as you carve down the sides. It's not so much of an issue with the butterfly because the wings are quite thick. But start your, your cut out up here and then start shaving the wood away down the sides. Be careful when it comes to these little finer elements at the bottom. It is entirely up to you whether you keep them or not. If you're just a beginner then I'd advise maybe ignoring those and just cut them away and just keep it plain. But if you fancy more of a challenge then cutting in between them is definitely a challenge. Don't forget, carve in here as well, especially if you're going to keep these finer elements. So cut away this area and be careful when you come to the tail of the butterfly. Now once you've got the, the overall two-dimensional shape cut out, you can start to think about how you want to add some depth and some movement in terms of 3D. So you can you could start by putting score lines down either side of the body and then shaving thin layers of wood away to make the wings drop back behind the body so the body appears to be higher than the wings themselves. You maybe then want to start shaping the wings down so they come right to the back of the piece of wood which would create a lovely, lovely sort of nice three-dimensional effect as though the wings have actually moved. To create the separation between the, the wings just put a score line down between them using the tip of the knife and then shave away from underneath just to make this upper wing appear to be slightly higher than the lower, lower wing. Once you've done that it's really up to you how far you go. As I say you can create lots of three-dimensional shape with it. Just remember that because it's a pendant and it's going to be worn if the wings come up at the ends and don't drop back down to the back of the wood you may find that when it's worn it'll rock about from one side to the other because it won't be balanced. So a nice little idea is to actually bring the wings back and shave them down so they're just probably two millimeters thick just down there and so they come in contact with the wearer's skin which will stop it from rocking around. Once you've got the shape all cut out and you've added your layering and depth as much as you want, if you're an advanced carver you may want to put some decoration on the wings I don't need to tell you how to do that if you're an advanced carver, but just enjoy, have fun, go a bit wild. And once you've got it cut out and you've got the shape as you want it, simply take the eyelet and screw it in right in the centre. So probably just in the top of the head of the butterfly. And that way it'll be balanced when it's worn. And then you can just thread the cord through and it's ready to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the kit and happy carving. <laughs>